making a uh, teapot cake. Mother's Day is coming up, so this is a very easy cake to do. Um, you can make it simple or you can make it elaborate. It's up to you. You can do fondant or whatever you want on this one. Today I'm going to be using whipped cream. Remember, Mother's Day is around the corner, so this is a good cake for that. We have Beauty and the Beast, uh, Alice in Wonderland, so this cake can be used for a lot of them, okay? So basically what I have here are two cakes, and these are nine inch cakes, and I put one on top of each other, and then I cut it. Sorry, I cut it before you got here, but I'll cut it again to make sure that you guys know how to do it. Now, if you're going to use the box, don't forget that if you want it a little bit harder because you're carving a cake, put half a cup of flour in the mix. That makes it harder and it makes it easier to cut. So basically what I did here, I take my knife and I'm going to show you how to cut it. So if you're going to work in the industry, guys, you have to learn how to cut your cakes. Don't think that we have all these molds for you to do. Basically, we cut everything just the way you're uh, seeing me do. If I want it smaller, go smaller. If you want it bigger, go bigger. It's up to you. Basically, we do not. We do not have a bowl that we bake it into. Okay, we have no molds. They're all the same. They're round or square. So learn how to cut it. You can if you have yours. But I'm not going to make all of you buy it if you're just going to do it for one time use. Now this is the same cut that you use for the Barbie, for um, uh, Cookie Monster, for any round cake. This is basically what you do. Okay, and yes, I got some whipped cream on my arm here. Okay, any questions on how to cut it? Now, one of the main things about cutting a cake, make sure that you are using a serrated knife. If you use the other kind, it's going to fall apart. But this way, that's how you do it. it. I don't know how to more cut because it's pretty good right now, so I don't want to keep cutting it. But do you see what I did? Okay, I'm going to take my buttercream, whipped cream, whatever you want to use, and all I'm going to do, I'm going to put a pre-ice on it. Just pre-icing it. That's it. I'm not going to make it all nice and smooth because I'm going to cover it up right now. Now, same method for the fondant, okay? All this would be buttercream. This would be buttercream, and then you cover it up with buttercream, and now you have your, your base. So far, so good? Same page? Okay. Now, I'm gonna take my tip number 22. There are two forms of doing this. The beginner way, you do a lot of stars. The professional, it has to be smooth. So I'm going to teach you both methods for a beginner or for a professional, okay? The first method I'm going to, oh, before I get started, I don't like to use a lot of bowls in different colors and all that. If you've been doing this all your life, you should know how to do it. That way you don't have to use so many bowls. Right here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to mark my cake and look at the way I mark my cake. I leave my cake in the same spot, the knife in the same spot, and you end up in the same spot. So I don't go around like this. No, it's all a matter of leaving it the same spot. It comes out perfectly. So now I know that on that side is going to be one color. On this side is going to be another color. Okay. First, I'm going to start off with the uh, with the um, white. Then I'm going to change it into pink. Okay. That way I don't have to use too many bowls and color them and all that. So first, I'm going to do the beginner. La uh, principiante. Todo lo que voy a hacer ahorita es como para principiante. Ahora la número 22. I would take number 22 and then I would make little stars. Just little stars. Pura estrellita. Little stars, little stars. Now again, buttercream is more perfect when you do little stars. Whipped cream is a little bit more difficult to make them perfectly. Okay? And this is the beginner. Now I call it the beginner because see how I'm doing little stars? Anybody can do little stars. Anybody can. But to make it smooth takes more practice. Now we never use stars in the business. Why? It's a lot of pushing. It's going to mess up your arm with time. So we never do little stars. So every time I see a little cake with little stars, I think they're a beginner. You see how I'm doing that? Just stars all over and over and over. See that? I did that. Now on the other side, now I'm going to do it more professional. Harder to do, 
but it looks pretty also. So I'm going to take mine, and I'm going to take my spatula, my spatula, and I'm going to smooth it. It's a lot harder to smooth, guys, than to do little stars. I'm doing two sides to it. Is that okay? That way you learn two methods. And it's harder because I'm trying not to mess up the other side and the other side. So now, of course, I'm getting into a situation that's hard. So trying to make it really nice and smooth is the hardest part. As you see these cakes that are perfectly smooth, it takes time. Especially got another with side to it. Any questions? Now, it's not perfectly smooth, Maria. I know. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give you guys a trick. And take water, regular water. I'm gonna take, it could be wax paper, it could be plastic. Okay, and what I do here, I'm gonna put it in my water. Okay, put it in my water. And then I take it, and then I go. See how I'm doing that? So if you want a perfectly, perfectly round cake, this is what we do. With any cake or only for people? No, for all the cakes. Um, I used to do like witches, the faces, and uh, people. And in order to get it smooth, this is the way we would do it. So any cake. Because it's round, it's harder. It could be warm or hot. Um, like I said, it could be plastic. Now, my problem is right here that I'm running into is because I got the back, I can't go all the way around. So is it kind of smooth right there? See, I don't want to mess up the back. Did you guys see that? So you could do it perfectly. It only took me a little bit of time. But if you want it perfect, it takes time to do it perfect. That's why I don't like doing things too much. Okay, now, yeah, we got two sides. Beginner, now I'm gonna take my whipped cream, buttercream, whatever you want. Okay. And I'm gonna put pink in there. Mix it up. Mix it up. The color that you need. And I'm going to put it back in here. I don't want to get a little bit bad. It's going to come out a little bit white at first because just take it out. It'll be fine. Okay? Now, here, I'm going to go zigzag all the way around. Okay? So I take it and I go up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. See that? Okay, all the way around. Pa arriba, pa abajo. Now don't forget that you can do half, half in uh, buttercream and half in fondant too. You can do it and then put parts of it in fondant. Okay, up here, look what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a circle and fill up the circle. That's it. And then at the end, I'm going to go zigzag. Okay, 
and then at the top okay right okay you could get a rose and put a rose I mean you could change you could do parts of it in fondant parts of it in buttercream I mean you could change it up now this is the secret to it what I do I get foam I get foam and then I cut out my little handle and my front and that's what it is okay now I do it the cheater way you know I don't want to do it people don't want to pay money you could do it with cookie you know remember the cookies I taught you you can make the handles in cookies if you want or you could do it with uh, rice crispy your choice but foam could be used too and you cover it up and everybody thinks it's edible we use plastic on cakes all the time. We put little mermaid on it. We put all these little trees on it. It's all plastic. So it's the same thing. If you don't want to use the foam into your cake, then wrap it up in foil. And all you have to tell the customer is say, you know what, just throw those away. I've gone to bakeries where they have hills, they have bridges, and it's all foam. And they decorate it like you put, and it looks amazing. And you don't have to spend that much time in making it out of Rice Krispies or cookies or anything like that. It's all foam. Just cover it up. Main thing, cover up the middle. Don't put it in and then try to cover up the middle. That is hard. So what I do, I'm going to do zigzag. And the, the tip I'm using might be a little bit big. If you want it a little bit finer, then, um, you know, take your time and make it thinner. Okay? And then I put it in. I'm going to try to put it right in the middle so you can't tell where I changed my style. Okay? I get it. Same thing. I go to the side. Trying to do zigzag here. See that? Side over here. Make sure you cover up everything with the foam. You don't want to see it. Because then they'll know your tricks. Okay? Then we get the little front, just like that. Now, sometimes you gotta make it uh, bigger so you can get a chisk kebab stick, a screw, and make it, and it hooks onto the board on the bottom, and that way you can do it that way. Um, this one, I'm gonna do the bottom because it's harder to do after you put it on. Make it bigger, shorter. You know the trick. Now any coffee pot, anything like that, you kind of get it by doing this one. Okay? I'm gonna take a little bit of green, and I'm gonna cut a little hole. And then, remember, I'm trying to decorate to the camera. I'm just gonna squeeze, 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 squeeze. You have to squeeze hard in order for it to come out. If not, it won't come out. Oh, we got pink. Oh, we got pink in there. Then I take my, again, another paper, or you can use number four, your choice, or make some um, fondant ones and stick them on there. I'm gonna do everything in the same style. I'm gonna pick, like if it was number four. And I'm gonna do what's called a drop flower. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, Two, three, four, five. Go to the other side. One, two. Three. See the leaves. Don't forget to put a little bit of century, either do the pearls. You can do pearls or make it out of four again and stick them in there. 
But since I have this, I'm just going to use On this one you can't tell so this one this side you probably put but on the plane you can't tell that way okay so that's my little coffee pot you guys like it easy yeah. easy okay any questions super easy right yeah. okay well thank you very much I hope you